hi guys welcome to my channel wendy here if you're new here please subscribe if you're returning subscriber thank you for watching so today's video is a very long video i hope you guys have a drink and you don't mind sitting through hearing a lot of talk um so i'm going to talk about my favorite perfumes from designer houses for from which i have had multiple bottles so obviously you guys know i have so many favorites from many different houses i think at this point i have owned over 200 bottles before like the ones that i've had and are no longer in my collection and right now my collection should be around 46 or so so i feel like i have had uh, time to say these that's a solid perfume from that house or that's not a very good one to start with especially for people who um beginners or people who haven't tried certain houses and want to see what they can try from that house this is the video for you i i have spoken about almost all these perfumes before i in fact i have spoken about all these perfumes before in previous chan uh, uh, videos and i remember i did um a very long video talking about all the perfumes i have had uh that video will need updating at some point although the quality wasn't so good i i spoke about it, all the perfumes that i've had so perhaps for someone who's irregular there could be you could hear maybe me referring to others that i've had in the past yeah so i'm going to link that very long video in the description for you guys but in the meantime these are the perfumes that i would say are my favorites from specific houses and i'm also going to tell you about any other perfumes from that house that i've had so you have some sort of comparison to see um she picks that this over that so yeah stay tuned and let's get talking so let's start off with one of my favorite houses ever this very underrated house one that i absolutely love mm. That house is none other than Elisab. So Elisab, I have had, I think, about six, five or six perfumes from them. If you see me looking down, I'm just looking at the notes. Just try to see the, so that I don't um, skip a perfume because it's so many perfumes that I'm going to talk about. So obviously, one of my favorites is the original Le Parfum, my signature scent. I absolutely love this perfume, white floral with a bit of uh, honey. I'm not going to go into depth talking about these perfumes. Works all through uh, any time, any time, any place. Very elegant, classy type of scent. Elisab Le Parfum. In line with this one, I also have um, Le Parfum Royal. I very, they are similar, yes except this one has white florals while this one has rose and it has some sort of citrus touch to it um yet i find it that it can also be very very uh, heavy because of the patchouli that is in here so this one i i prefer wearing in winter but to be honest look at the dents i have been abusing it all through the year just like i have been wearing this one so these are lifers for me at this point you know my taste changes but to be honest at this point these are lifers uh elisab le parfum and le parfum royal from the same line then uh from another line from the same house i also have um this is girl of now forever this i haven't spoken about in a while i still love to this day uh, this is a flanker of girl of now which i had in the past so basically this smells like la vie belle intensive my if you've never tried that one very sweet a uh, raspberry fruity a bit of nuttiness oh my god this smells good it smells delicious and yummy people are just going to smell that this sweetness that i am smelling and this lasts long i absolutely enjoy this perfume i am down there but gosh this this one ah love it 
so go of now uh forever definitely yeah so now let's talk about the perfumes that i've had from this house uh from the le parfum line i have had le parfum lumia which i struggled with a bit and ended up getting rid of it like just making sure that it runs fast so le parfum lumia was uh, very similar to le parfum but it had a bit of an animalic touch to it I would say it smells a little bit like alien to be honest because of that animalic thing yeah it's like uh, the original Le Parfum and Alien had a baby and then they had Le Parfum Lumia and then just added a bit of sunshine to it because it came off very bright it comes in a very in a yellow bottle so yeah Le Parfum Lumia I had that one I also had Girl of Now uh, the original from which uh, this flanker is coming from and Girl of Now is very sweet very nutty very it can be a bit too much it's extremely extremely sweet this is more fruit fruity than it is sweet to me and yeah very very sweet you need to be very bold very long lasting projects way too much you suffocate everyone and then there's also girl of now shine which is just like the uh, girl of now original but more nutty and has almond yeah those didn't work out but from elisab what i would say that if you want to try depending on what you want if you're a fruity lover start with this if you're a white floral lover start with a uh, leper farm if you're a rose lover who likes a little bit of citruses and patchouli start with uh, leper farm royal so those are the three from the house that i would uh, recommend let's move on to aqualina aqualina is not a like they make affordable perfumes but the the quality is good like pink sugar is popular for a reason there's so many reviews on pink sugar even on youtube if you just google you if you just search for pink sugar you see so many reviews so from the house of aqualina the ones that i have and absolutely love uh, I have here Berry Blast, Pink Sugar Berry Blast, fruity, very fruity type of perfume with some berries, definitely just from the name you can tell. Um, and it's also very fresh to me. I, I love this. If you're a beginner, you've never tried Pink Sugar, start with Berry Blast. Definitely a love then of course we have the original pink sugar which i also love very sugary sweet uh vanilla cotton candy type of perfume definitely a love then uh also from the from the house we i have here uh red velvet i haven't spoken about red velvet a lot i should really but i haven't worn it a lot you know i've been obsessing with specific perfumes i haven't given this one much of a chance but i love it like, like from the time i just got it i appreciated what it is yeah very 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 similar to pink sugar more more so even than um berry blast i really like this one it's got a little bit of strawberry uh it's like pink sugar the original then add in throw in some uh, strawberries that's how this one smells of course i absolutely love it so from the house what else i've had uh, same from the pink sugar line i have had a uh, creamy sunshine which i let go of that one was a bit too much with the yellow florals and the coconuts it just wasn't working for me so if you love coconuts and you like yellow florals perhaps you can start with that one but if you're a gourmand lover um, i would say start with uh, pink sugar or um red velvet if you like pink sugar just you can also try uh, the fruity version which is the berry blast overall these are the perfumes i would recommend that you try from aqualina very affordable house worth every cent that you're going to pay for them then let's talk about zara i have had so many zara perfumes guys so many if i'm going to sit here talking about them it will be insane but the one perfume the one perfume that i would recommend from zara is golden decade golden decade just this is high-end zara this is not cheap this smells like lib intense which i'm also going to talk about later this is vanilla um 
lavender oh sweetness this is just beautiful okay i i find that these bottles are high quality like they're just they're very heavy like they're heavy they look very simple and chic so golden decade if you can't afford lib intense just buy this like what are you waiting for this is absolutely worth it so yeah number one for me right now so what other perfumes have i had from there i have had also i needed to also mention red temptation red, red temptation as much as i am not a baccarat rouge fan i absolutely appreciate it for what it is it is a very good dupe for baccarat rouge except i find that it's a little bit woodier so if you can have um those two are the ones that i would recommend good longevity good projection good quality good bottles everything that i i like so now let's talk about the ones that i've had i have had black amber i have had red vanilla i have had yellow sunshine um uh, i really liked yellow sunshine it's not very popular but it was like very, this very fruity uh, banana smell i i really appreciated that i used to layer it with the starchy yellow diamond intense and it would just work i i love that one then i've also had a sweet pastry in paris which is supposed to be a dupe for lira i i just couldn't with that one i tried the hype like if you're a gourmand lover a sweet pastry in paris would work for you mm. don't ask me what i'm drinking guys yes a sweet pastry in paris is supposed to be a due for lira i just found it a little bit too synthetic and the lemon note was just a bit too sharp then i've also had a mochi atelier in tokyo which was just like woody rice pudding and then i've also had rose zara rose so i've had a lot of zara perfumes like at this point there's still one that i want to try anyway i still like zara perfumes to be honest i still want to try um which one is this one the one that is supposed to be a dupe for Rose's Venue, but people say that it's even better than Rose's Venue. Um, yes, I'm, I want to try that one. So anyway, we move on to Versace. Versace is a house that I I absolutely love. Like people want to, people try to say a lot of bad things about that house when it comes to fragrances. Even I think even the clothes because they are over the top with their labels. Mm, mm -hmm. i don't know why this is leaking but anyway versace what have i what do i like from the house currently the only versace perfume that i have right now is versace crystal noir this is the edt i haven't been wearing this a lot i think it's that sort of thing where you um this is my second bottle of this perfume where you are scared to run out and then you suddenly you start using less and less of it i don't know if you guys can see anything but it's down i'm down to one third of this 50 ml bottle so this one what do i love mm, okay so this is a floral spicy coconut type of scent very spicy and it's very dark and cold like they say crystal noir noir is like dark you know it's very mysterious very sexy very intriguing that's what i would say about this one this scent is not for everyone you have to like your unique scent you have to smell it first before you buy it it's not for, it's not even even for my perfume store it's not something that i would buy uh for people to just um you know to sell people because I know this is a very very unique scent but when you love it you absolutely love it i find i just think that this perfume is very sexy it's very bold it's yeah it's everything so yeah i've had this i have this right now and i absolutely love it what else do i love from the house that i would recommend the eros um perfume eros perfume the edt 
Eris perfume, the EDP. So the EDT is more fresh, more citrusy, more sweet and fruity, while the EDP is sweet yet uh, more leaning towards the flowers. It's more toned down, but they're both, while the EDT is like louder and projects a lot more. But then when it comes to the perfumes, they both last very long. The EDT lasts very very long i would say the edc lasts even longer than the edp also when it comes to versace i find that even this crystal noir there is an edp but people like the edc because it also lasts very long but there's not composition is different it's fresher the edc is fresher than the edp which is more grounded more floral and whatnot i would say love it then uh for the men i would say eros um po om edt i i i like that perfume it just smells sweet fresh masculine something i, I would see a man wearing on a daily basis so that one then um i was i would also recommend like highly recommend and i want this back in my collection versace yellow diamond edt I have it on sale <laughs> like i just feel like i owe my business so much money i can't i can't get that perfume right now but edt yellow diamond edt very similar to the eros perfume edt very fruity very uh fresh compliments getter type of scent that one i like now what do i not like from the house i do not like yellow diamond intense because the yellow diamond intense is more floral it's 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 you know yellow diamond is something that you would expect that would be very uh, fresh fun sweet and just like that but then the e intense is straight up floral i don't know why that perfume just yes it does smell very similar it's similar to the edt but i just don't like it I don't it, I think it was an unnecessary creation from the house I I like Versace woman I've had it but I wouldn't recommend it because I think that one is it's a rose fresh rose type of scent it is not for everyone it is quite mature it's something that I wouldn't recommend to you guys unless you've tried it out first and you love it then you should definitely try it 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 was my it was one it took me through a whole summer I think in 2020 or 2021 I absolutely enjoyed that perfume if anyone had to give me I would still wear it but it's not for everyone so Versace woman I've also had let's move on to another house and this will be the fifth house so what I'm going to do guys I'm going to link down below just the perfume houses that I'm going to talk about like I'm going to timestamp them because it's, it's, it's going to be a long video so don't mind me if I take pauses if I just take time to drink my drink because it's a lot but I actually enjoy these very long videos yeah okay now let's talk about Burberry Burberry is a house that I also like so first off is my former signature scent Burberry Her Eau de Parfum everyone has been talking about the EDT like how fresh and fun the EDT is despite them saying it doesn't have good longevity this I, I would like to try that one I, I would only get it on a bargain though Burberry Her EDP beautiful beautiful if you don't like baccarat rouge and want something similar but fruitier and more feminine uh beverly ha edp is the one i would recommend so oh i haven't worn this one in a while guys it's even like the lid is okay here yeah. i'm this one is just waiting for for winter to come out I, because it's like sugary sweet um, with some uh, fruitiness definitely some raspberry but very airy very um, molecule like very it's also a bit synthetic but I don't mind so yes let's talk about this I absolutely love it just what I told you and it also just smells like blush pink the lead that this is very feminine People always compliment me when I wear this, like, 
compliments galore like wow this is beautiful so um this other than this one i've also had Burberry body intense and Burberry body edp absolutely love both those are like more a rose musky type of scent with a little bit of fruitiness i i absolutely love Burberry body and anything from that Burberry body line is something that i will definitely recommend get anything from there they're long lasting just like Burberry huh they they just work but you know there's always someone who will say they don't like it but to be to me i think i've only met one person who didn't like it everyone i've recommended body to just definitely likes it so there's nothing from that house that i have used and not liked Burberry is a good house I, I know they've been in the, in the in the business for a very long time. I even want to try some of the older version perfumes such as Beverly Rhythm, um, Bridge Rhythm. I want to try that one because everyone keeps saying nice things about it. So yeah, Beverly and we are done. So now let's talk about CK. CK, which is Kelvin Klein. Uh, what do I have from there? I, I like um, Euphoria this one this should be my second or third bottle guys i think at this point i need um, i might get into a point where i no longer like this because i have worn it for far too long i have worn it for far too long so this is a woody floral type of scent it's it's got a, a, a purple uh liquid there it has orchid orchid looks purple that color everyone says that that flora is an imaginary flora i don't know how true that is but possible yeah so this is just a slightly fruity woody um flora scent i i just love this this just smells smells uh very bold um it smells unisex to, to be honest it just smells straight up um serious i i like this it's supposed to be sexy though you know this perfume when i smelled it on someone it's not someone something that you're going to smell and not notice what it is i i can smell this perfume and i'll tell you that this is what you're wearing it's one of those perfumes that are very unique as well so yeah Bear, um calvin klein euphoria another one that i i would recommend uh, uh let me even put this disclaimer guys with perfumes try it try it try it try it and that's why we even have my decant store running because you you can easily it's cheaper to try a 10 ml decant of a perfume than it is to buy a full perfume and not like it like it's not everyone who's going to buy 50 bottles of perfume just to explore it's an expensive hobby but anyway Blind, buy, blind buying also comes with a few, so. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, let's talk about Sarah Jessica Parker. Sarah Jessica Parker, what have I had? So I have had um, Stash, which is very unisex, very instancy, woody, spicy type of scent i love stash and towards the end i found it a bit more masculine than in the beginning but it's something that is high quality something that a bold woman who doesn't mind a, a unisex scent could wear but for men absolutely love it for men like if you're a man you like spicy woody type of perfumes definitely try stash definitely worth it so yeah stash by jessica simpson i would recommend then we i also had lovely which i just got tired of when it was towards the end but to be honest lovely is a good scent it's like a powdery lavender uh, woody type of scent very smell smells very similar to Narciso for her 
uh, for the price that you get it with 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 the price uh, what have i tried else that i i wouldn't recommend i would say born lovely it, i thought it would maintain the dna of lovely so much but not really uh, it's a fruity floral type of scent i i can't say much about that perfume but yes we move on let's go to number eight number eight is valentino donna valentino donna the original is something that i i like it's a leathery uh floral a bit sweet type of scent very elegant uh i really really like that perfume it had moderate longevity but i didn't mind because it just smelled elegant um what have i had but wouldn't recommend i would say this one valentino donna born in roma so this is a perfumey perfume it's yes very i think the alcohol in here is a bit much compared to the valentino donna the original um floral sweet nothing very unique it's just another perfumey perfume but if you just want a generic perfume but it doesn't even last long as well it's like moderate you just want a perfumey perfume and enjoy the hype around perfume this is something you can try but for me, I would say try Donna, the first, um, the original. So next, let's talk about Jimmy Choo. Jimmy Choo, the, like, the house I also like. So I have tried Jimmy Choo's signature, the original Jimmy Choo. Mm. So that perfume, it was among the first perfumes that I bought when I just started like collecting perfumes, when I decided when i started watching a lot of perfume youtube uh that should be around 2018 i was watching a lot of perfume youtube i had gone on leave for the first time since i had been working like for three years jimmy choo the signature i bought a 40 ml bottle i it smelled glorious i still love love the scent it's like a very sweet toffee like type of perfume with uh, some patchouli which makes it a bit earthy i i i love that perfume even for my interview for the job i got in western province i wore that jimmy Cho. it just worked it other people would say it works better in summer but even in the heat i would wear it because i wouldn't smell uh most people say it's beast mode it i think i used to go anosmic to it i wouldn't smell it after a, a while but people would still be complimenting me and saying oh that perfume smells so good that perfume smells so good it's something that i wouldn't mind buying again so yeah jimmy choo jimmy choo is edp is something that i would buy i don't know why i haven't i tried to buy it actually at some point but the seller just disappointed me i was trying to get it off zip up anyway what do i have in my collection and i absolutely love still we have um jimmy Choo illicit this is a discontinued perfume i don't know why they did that so you guys know i love honey this is a honey uh floral spicy scent very boozy it becomes richer with time oh my god i just love this this is sexy so yeah jimmy Choo illicit definitely worth catching if you can yeah so there i am you can see how much i just love this so jimmy choo illicit and jimmy choo definitely worth having let's talk about lancome uh so lancome is known for la vie belle <laughs> la vie belle this is a big bottle this is a 100 ml bottle i I still like La Via Bell, guys. Like this is a perfume that I wear a lot in winter. It's it's one that I might buy again, even when I run out. Mmm, fruity, floral, patchouli, powderiness, everything sweet. Yeah, this this guys. Don't even buy the inspired perfumes. Like just get the original La Via Bell. This smells good. This yeah 
so la vie est belle the, this is just la vie est belle the original la vie est belle intensema is something that i would also recommend that you try especially if you like if if you want like a fruity twist to this get la vie est belle intensema it's gorgeous gorgeous so yeah la vie est belle ah so i forgot i needed to mention that i have also had la nuit trésor nude from lancome so i ha i like la, uh, la vie belle uh, just la vie belle then i also like la vie belle intensima so what i've had from that house that i wouldn't really recommend la nuit trésor nude i i struggled with that when it was a very coconutty type of very straight floor of scent i got rid of it but the person who received it actually loved it so you know how different we are yeah mm. i also had la vie belle oh, guys i think the drink is getting to me <laughs> anyway I also had Trezor in love. I I have sampled the new Trezor before, but I struggled with that one. It was very similar to another perfume, a Nina Ricci perfume that I'm going to talk about. But Trezor in love. I wanted Midnight Midnight Rose in that Trezor line. But anyway, Trezor in love came in a very uh, in a bottle. I I will I'll put it there. That looks like it's Midnight Rose. Yeah, Trezor in Love was just like one of those very basic, likable perfumes. There was nothing to it. Sweet floral and that's it. Nothing unique at all. Let's talk about more affordable perfumes. And we're just from this house. So let's talk about Avon. Avon, um, Avon is a nice one. I have tried Little Black Dress, which I have here. Mm-hmm. little black dress gorgeous gorgeous woody um floral sweet type of scent this perfume has a lot of notes guys but it works it absolutely works i i love it oh my god it's got on good good in my mouth ah this get it guys get it uh, so I have also tried um, Infinity, like the original Infinity. I liked that one. I liked um, Far Away Infinity. I liked Far Away Gold. And just that entire line, I think I've tried almost everything from that line. There was even that one Rebel, which people were trying to, to compare to the new Fatal. I liked it as well. Then, uh, yeah everything else i haven't really tried but everyone is one that if you look around very well you might find something that you like and for my girlies on the budget everyone don't overlook it like you don't need to get into debt to just buy designer perfumes but when you can you can and what you fall in love with it under the, the Avon one you can still buy even when you have designer so now let's talk about victor and roth Victor and Rolf is known for a flower bomb. Um, flower bomb I liked. I had it for a while. It smells very similar to La Vie Belle, except it's fresher. Um, it's like a sweet floral uh, type of scent. To me, it was fr a bit fresh with some aquatic thing go to it. Like I would literally smell as if it has water. That perfume. Yes, I would literally feel like it has some water. Yes. So, what I absolutely love more than Flower Bomb, the original, is Flower Bomb Nectar. This perfume has become so pricey. I'm at half, and this is, um, let me see, 90 mils. So, I'm like at 40. I would say I'm at 40 mils, and I'm treasuring every little drop of this. This is strong, guys. Flower Bomb is also strong, but this is massive. There's no way you're going to wear this perfume and no one is going to smell you. This one has a, a gunpowder note and you can smell the gunpowder in here. 
like if you've lived in a barrack like i have before or if you've smelled gunpowder before you would definitely smell the gunpowder in here which gives you this sort of powderiness to it it's a very syrupy sweet type of scent i i love 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 little and raw flower bomb nectar i just need to be able to afford it all through it's a lifer So from Victor and Ruff, there's nothing that I have won that I did not like. It's only those two that I've ever um, owned and I like them. Let's talk about Dolce and Gabbana. So Dolce and Gabbana, one of the perfumes that I've had for longer than I would, than you guys would possibly know from my videos because sometimes I'm wearing so many perfumes but not maybe i talk about them when they're coming into my collection and then i just go quiet it's not like i'm not wearing it that's how you just end up seeing like a very big dent but i have had adoche and gabbana the only one for a while this is not my dent i got this as a partial but i've always had a travel size i've had like a mini two minis i had two minis of this perfume and the travel size and now i have this big bottle this big bottle will never finish because this perfume is extremely strong this smells like actual coffee but coffee with a lot of caramel and sugar so literally if you love coffee instead of buying i like black opium i won't say anything shitty about that perfume i like black opium but this is a better version because it's got everything. It's got the longevity black opium doesn't have. It's even the bottle is cuter. Like, look at this guy. So simplistic but nice. Uh, so yes, I would recommend the only one. But this is something you can only wear in the cold because it will suffocate you. Like it's a very strong perfume. It's it's that strong. So yeah if you don't mind a very gourmand coffee scent have this uh also from the house what i liked was also light blue intense um good performance even the light blue intense for the men i sold one to andy he said he loved it the longevity was very good so light blue intense is something that i would recommend from the same house what else i have had i have had the all the only one in the only one collector's edition the one in the red bottle i've also had the only the one oh i've had the one the one uh collector's edition in the red bottle and the one desire all of these i would not recommend like they just Ah, they're just, let me just say they're old. They're old as in with age, they're old, and they're old as in I don't like the, the smell. It's just weird at this point. It's very vintage. It smells like, um, the one smells like black amber from Azara, and that scent profile just isn't working for me. I don't think it's, I know, I, I only, only know one YouTuber who's been talking about the one, but I've even forgotten who it is. But the one, let's, let's forget about those perfumes. Those are, those are the perfumes that people need to start discontinuing. Not the perfumes that they're discontinuing, that are the good, nice perfumes that they're discontinuing. Anyway, let me not get into that. So number 14, it's going to be a long video, guys, I mentioned. Number 14, we have um, Elizabeth Arden. I'll try to speed up. Elizabeth Arden, from the house, what I would recommend is white tea and always red always red is one that i absolutely love smells like sea but even lasts longer smells better gets compliments the oil in always red even when you spray it on your hands you're going to see the oil that's how much oil is in that perfume for an affordable perfume get always red if you want a sexy uh smoky dark type of scent try um always red um this one also is something that i would recommend this is a uh, white tea white tea uh very floral white white just like this smells like a spa obviously has tea in it very calming relaxing type of scent very fresh as well so yes 
what else have i had from that house i have had Aden beauty which smells like water from a rose vest like imagine you've got fresh roses then they you cut off those the stems like you cut them if you want your stems to to last a bit long so you 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 cut them nicely for me at least i cut my stems when i just receive them and then you just put them in the water then that water it's very spring like very green very fresh nice one but then the longevity wasn't just working for me that's that's the issue i had with it and it was very floral like extremely green and floral so now let's talk about swiss arabian swiss arabian is a house that i appreciate it's an arabic house we have shagaf oud very popular for being a dupe for oud bouquet this one um love absolutely absolutely love this is sweet oud with some rose and saffron ah jesus this this is just good i wore this i think uh not this not the past but past weekend i wore this guys if someone hugged me they were so in love with they were like damn you smell so good so shagaf wood beautiful yeah what else have i tried from the house shaga for women disappointments of the year i think i posted a video i might link it below but just check my review on shaga for women i don't even want to talk about it another fell from the house was inare inare wood inare wood very synthetic wood with vanilla the projection the longevity is insane if you add that perfume to a box of perfumes it will just overpower everything i still have it somewhere like in the spare bedroom i'm trying to get rid of it like i just can't think of giving it to anyone like if anyone wants in air old let me know like it's just too loud and too synthetic for me to even bring myself to gift to anyone so in air old horrible perfume now let's talk about a uh, YSL. YSL, I have had, um, I have Lib Intense. Absolutely love this perfume. I like Lib, the original, but the Intense is nice because of that added vanilla. So Lib is like lavender. Mm, okay, straight up lavender perfume. Okay, that's going to shock me. Now this one has some added vanilla to it mm, okay this is bold this is boss lady this is just like i'm here you cannot hide from me and my smell i love the bottle as well very very beautiful i just needed to have this bottle guys yeah so lib intense with it longevity performance good if you can't afford that one get golden decade which i mentioned earlier so let's move on uh what else first of all what else have i had from ysl i have had a manifesto which was like a vanilla a woody vanilla spicy scent i liked it but i could just go tired of it like and it's discontinued so i'm not going hunting for that discontinued perfume and i just grew tired of it then we had i decluttered cinema cinema was like this very bright vanilla vintage smelling like perfume um there was so much hype around cinema lasted so long was nice but it just it was given giving old chanel vibes so anyway that's cinema then let's go to 17 we're talking about britney spears britney spears what i'll absolutely recommend to you to try is fantasy intense this is like fantasy except with added patchouli and it's very nice like it's a grown-up version of fantasy fantasy is genuinely just a sweet fruity um type of cupcake like type of scent uh fantasy used to give me compliments i won't lie this also gets me compliments fantasy intense this is what we're doing don't get the original get the intense uh what else have i tried from fantasy i've also tried island fantasy which is a very fresh um watermelon type of scent i enjoyed it while i had it then i would also layer it with some 
um, Olympia dupe, but then I, I let go of both of them at the same time so that someone could enjoy them. Uh, we're on number 18, and what we're talking about is Marc Jacobs. Marc Jacobs, the best perfume ever from that house is Decadence. Everything else... I don't know why they discontinued this. This is their masterpiece. Very sweet, green, fruity, uh, vetiver, woody type of scent. There's nothing as unique as this. Oh, I love it. I love it. So Decadence, the best perfume from Marc Jacobs. If you can, get it while well, you can. Uh, what else have I tried from there? I have tried Divine Decadence. Decluttered that one because it was smelling like bug spray on my skin. It was smelling, it was supposed to be a fresher version of Decadence, but it was just coming off giving the um, bug spray vibes. Now let's talk about Jojo Armani. Jojo Armani, I don't have any of the perfumes in my collection right now, but one thing I would recommend is Armani Code for Women. That one is like body, body type of scent. It's very straight up white floral with some honey and some cedar, I believe. Um, it just gave off a boss, boss, babe type of vibes. I would, and very sexy. That perfume is just very, very sexy. What else have I used from there? Aqua de Joya. I did not like it. It was like a fresh, straight up floral. Very similar to Yellow Diamond Intense. I cannot. I tried C, C Necre, which smells very similar to C. I tried C Leper Farm, they all did not just work out. I think you guys know the story by now. Then let's talk about police. I don't know why I didn't get the bottle. Yes, but I've shown the bottle in another video. Just the two videos or oh, oh, a video before this. Shock and scent for women smells just like scandal. Love it good longevity good performance nice what have i tried that i did not like and got rid of was police dark there was nothing dark about it it was just a straight up fruity floral type of scent yeah paco rabanne mm. paco rabanne we have lady medium um I can't even say more about this perfume. My first designer perfume ever. Uh, love this honey, white florals, good performance. Still enjoy the scent to this day. Uh, what else have I tried from there? I have tried uh, Black Excess. Black Excess was just basic perfumey perfume. Just florals and a little bit of sweetness, but too much alcohol, it wasn't working. We're almost done, guys. Hang on. Hang on. So, Jean Paul Gaultier. Jean Paul Gaultier, of course, it has to be Scandal. <laughs> so, Scandal, one of my top five perfumes ever. Sweet, extremely sweet scent with honey, white florals, some citrusy notes in the top beeswax in the base very syrupy sticky sweetness love it what else have i tried from there i have tried label which i also like i'm like on the fence with label it's like i want it but i don't want it i, I don't want it bad enough to buy it i've had it in the past it was and i have a friend um who frequents lover on instagram she's she has she received label from her workplace um during valentine's and she's been struggling with it and i see why that is because it's got vetiver it's, it's it's like sweet but a little bit masculine i like label if someone had to buy it for me i would buy i would enjoy it maybe i want to try the intense label is nice but i'm on the fence with it then what i did not like was classic classic just smelled very uh soapy type a bit woody like you can lip the street type of woody um yeah not for me let's move on to nina ricci nina ricci the one that is discontinued and is the best creation from that house lextas rose absolute smells like um old satin mood both made by mfk 
um yes but what else have i used like stars uh, like stars the original smells like lanui trezor i just I couldn't with that note profile it just there was just something in there that was aching me and i've also tried richie richie by nina richie 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 was like this um rhubarb uh fruity floral scent that just couldn't work i tried with that perfume i loved the bottle i tried so hard to make it work it just could not work uh let's talk about now kim kardashian kim kardashian i have kim kardashian signature i don't know why i didn't bring it out but kim kardashian signature smells like gucci bloom uh very white flower forward scent it lasts long it's it's like bold it projects it's everything good i i appreciate kim kardashian signature then what else did i try flair fatale just another perfumey very alcoholic type of scent there was nothing fatal about that perfume it was just a basic thing that they just let me not say anything bad so yeah those are the 24 like perfumes from 24 houses that i have liked my favorites from those 24 houses uh, what I will say is there are houses from which I have tried multiple perfumes and just did not like everything I tried. Let's talk about them. There are just three. So the first one is Chabot. I tried Lay de, de Biscuit, Lay de Vanille, de Vanille or Vanilla. It just didn't work. Both of them horrible. Like I want to be in sugar coated horrible then what else did i try roberto cavalli the signature i like that <sighs> let me not even lie like it just used to induce headaches it was too white floor heavy and there was something else in there that would just induce a headache in me then i also tried nero assoluto it just didn't work ah no those just forget katie perry katie perry I, I tried royal revolution uh that um perfume it just couldn't work i also tried indie i liked royal Re revolution the scent at least but one thing both of those perfumes had poor longevity they wouldn't last beyond um five minutes on my skin imagine even indie which was very musky like it was very full of mask all types of mask you would think that a musky perfume would last long but it wouldn't uh, royal revolution smelled like bubblegummy like a bubblegummy type of scent i really enjoyed it except it only lasted all of one one minute so yeah those are my favorites from the houses and those are my thoughts on them let me know if you enjoyed this type of video so that i can make more uh, like and subscribe and i'll be telling you of um, more perfumes favorites from perfume houses from which i've had multiple perfumes and all these perfumes that i've spoken about were full bottles like it was not a sample they were full bottles so thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one